chat this week about something that has troubled me for years and years and years. So when I was seven, I used to have to get the train in the morning with my dad to get to school. I would get on the train with him and then I'd get off and he'd carry on up to London. So I'd get off the train um, and generally there was somebody else around. I think it was an older girl who's meant to be sort of keeping an eye on me, but it always felt like I was alone and I was having to walk up the hill to the school. I absolutely hated it. I hated traveling on the train. Coming home was even worse because there was an older girl that was meant to keep an eye on me to get me to come home and she just wasn't very nice. And one day she forgot me and I was left at school and it was just very traumatic. And all my experiences of being on a train have been terrifying. Um, I very nearly caught my hand in a door. Um, I very nearly took my head off out of a window. And the amount of times at college, even as I was older, you know, kind of, 17 18 getting on the train getting on the wrong train running over the bridge getting on the, it was just stress 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 and i hated it i don't really like traveling on trains traveling full stop because alice one of my other daughters is at uni in london i remember thinking i really do need to conquer this fear of trains because i want to see them basically what happened right I was invited, so I go to Kingsgate Church in Peterborough, which is just epic. I was invited to something called a Freedom Day. I don't know why I'm doing that, Freedom Day. Um, and the idea is you go there and if you've got any kind of underlying issues that are bothering you, or you've got issues with anxiety, or anything at all really, and um, they'll pray with you. And I remember thinking, oh, okay, do I want to do this? Do I want to sort of face these fears? You know, because it's, it's not easy facing stuff. It hurts, really hurts. So when it came to do, going on this Saturday, I remember thinking, why have I signed up to do this? I don't really want to do it. Um, but I did it because I'd had a busy week at work and I just thought, no, I need to do it. I want to, I want to pray about that in particular, about the whole train thing. And the person at the front just kind of said, oh, okay. I just really, you know, want to pray for people who have got something that's maybe holding them back, stopping them from being able to do the things that they want to do because of fear. And obviously I knew, I mean, God does this to me a lot. I just get kind of sucker punched into doing things because I thought, oh, okay, that yeah, that's me. Because I, I, you know, I can't really travel around because I get scared. Somebody prayed with me and it was great. Actually, as literally, as soon as I got home that evening, I had a real peace when, after I'd been prayed for. It was, it was epic. And people who don't believe in God haven't experienced him because I can't make up, I can't make up the feelings that I feel. And I thought, right, I'm going to book a train. I'm going to go and see Alice in London. And it was great. And we did. But what was amazing, so we got on this train. It wasn't that early in the morning. And so we didn't have a seat. And it was like, oh, okay. No, this will be fine. I'll stand. That's fine. I'll stand by the door. No worries. I then ended up, I mean, we're obviously all wearing masks. I ended up with about five people around me. I had somebody, this man's armpit in my face for a good portion of the journey. But at no point did I feel anxious. Absolutely not. It was, I, had, I can't explain it. I had such a sense of peace. Met with Alice. We went on the tube. I took lots of crazy pictures. Um, and then on the way back, that's why, on the way back, we got back to the station. Al Alice, my daughter, said, oh, you know, I'll say goodbye now. You'll be all right going on your own. I was like, yeah, I'll be absolutely fine. And I was. And it was absolutely fine. At no point did I, was I panicking or I'm lost or anything. And that was my biggest thing. I think as a child, I had a real fear of being lost. It was, it was wonderfully healing. It really was lovely and healing. And I know it might seem a little thing, but when... You have to understand, if, if somebody's really phobic and, and really scared of something, you can't sort of say, oh, you shouldn't be feeling that. That's just how it is. It's, it's a real fear. So I just wanted to encourage you, really, if you've got a fear of something, if you're a Christian, obviously, find a mate, take it to God, speak to your mate about it and say, right, will you pray with me about this and, you know, just see what God can do. Because God can do it. He's the only one that I have found that can bring freedom. If you're not a Christian, I'd still say ask God, even if you're not sure what you're talking to or who, who he is or you don't even believe in him. I would still say out loud, okay, whatever you are, God, <laughs> whatever you are, can you help me with this? I'm scared about this. Can you help me? And just see if the peace comes. It's so exciting when it does. Because you know it's not you. It has to be something else. Give it a go. That, that's my advice for this week. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye!